Hello everybody. It's a gorgeous Memorial Day weekend and we are here in the Ochoco National Forest for three nights of camping. We drove over here from Portland bright and early this morning so that we could get a campsite and we have snagged this really lovely campsite in the Ponderosas with a view of Big Summit Prairie. There be idiots. Clearly the same people. Cores up there, cores down here. Great. What? <laughs> the sign fell down, but I saw a trail. <laughs> well, we got our campsite all set up and then we drove about 40 minutes east here to Boeing Field where we're going to start our hike down into Black Canyon. In addition to being the trailhead, this lovely field is a wildflower meadow. We can see the Wolf Mountain Lookout from here. So we are here at this trailhead and we're gonna hike down to the Black Canyon Trail and then we'll hike until we feel like turning around and come back. Well, we've hiked six tenths of a mile down the Owl Creek Trail, and now we're going to turn left on the Black Canyon Trail. There's a lot of false hellebore in this spot. In some spots, the snow has only recently melted. And I think if this was a normal year instead of a drought year, there would actually be snow on the trail right now. There's some crazy fungus just growing right here in the middle of the trail. This is so cool. You can see the pushed up earth from these mushrooms popping up. We have hiked 2.6 miles and now we've reached Black Canyon Creek. So we've gone 2.6 miles and lost about a thousand feet of elevation. So we're gonna make this our turnaround point, have a snack and head back. So these are our, our new favorite snack, Brad's Crunchy Kale. We get them from Amazon, but I've also seen them at Whole Foods. These are delicious and nutritious. Highly recommended. Brad's Crunchy Kale.
made with one half pound of real veggies. However, the bag itself only weighs two ounces. Go figure. Well, I'm back to the car and that was a nice little hike. It was about five and a quarter miles with a thousand feet elevation loss that we gained on the way back out. Very pleasant and we didn't see a single other hiker on the trail. On our way back to the campsite, we decided to make a short stop and check out Palena Butte. So this is Palina Butte. There used to be a fire lookout up here once and it's long gone and the trees have grown up so it doesn't even have a view anymore. Tonight we're gonna have lemon spinach linguine. Craig is lighting our citronella candle and we've got our thermocell going as well because even though it is windy here in our campsite, we still have mosquitoes who are defying physics and hanging about in the wind. We are sitting here with our pasta and our wine enjoying the view of Big Summit Prairie, which is private grazing land with cows on it. And an unexpected aspect of this campsite is the fact that we can hear the cows mooing. But we both agree that it's better than listening to target shooting or ATVs or RV generators. I'm not sure where they are, but I think we're hearing sandhill cranes right now. The mosquitoes are out and we don't feel like babysitting a campfire. So we're going to retreat into the tent for the evening, read a little bit and go to bed. See you in the morning. Our boots got pretty muddy going through that quagmire back there. <laughs> hey, look. Was that effective? Yes. Green the magic puffy lives in my pack. Endeavor it should get real cold. I know he's got my back. Green the magic puffy, lightweight as can be. Oh, don't have the second verse now, sorry. <laughs> the end. <laughs> See, in this case, I'm putting not only my money where my mouth is, but my super healthy, delicious snack. <laughs>